All right, welcome back guys to my YouTube channel where we will go over electronics that we're selling on eBay. Right now we've got the Lexicon MC8 digital controller. This is the balanced version. It has a XLR output here. That's the difference between the balance and unbalance. Also, it's about $1,000 if you were to buy this back in 2003. It was 6,995 for balance, 5,995 for unbalance. We've got our Xbox connected in here via uh, component inputs. We've got the JBL URI, which is a XLR amp amplifier. It's the only one we have. It's something I'm looking for, actually. So if you are on here and you actually are looking to sell an XLR amplifier, one that's kind of like a lower profile, maybe like an Adcom or something like that, um, I'm interested. I'm down. I'm looking for one, actually, for my test setup here. I have a t I have a carver that I've been using that's kind of going up, so I've got to get that repaired. And so I'm looking to kind of preamp it out and, you know, whatever, do whatever. Anyways, we're a minute in, so let's get into this video and not, not, not talk about that other stuff. Right now, MC8, let's talk about its specs real quick. I'm going to try to go through these as fast as possible. We've got the, uh, we've got a bunch of different codecs, uh, Dolby, we've got TTS, and we've got THX, with THX Ultra 2 being... Uh, I guess one of its main features. Also, this features a Logic Seven um, decoding. That that's like the that, that's like its lexicon's claim to fame. The Logic Seven is like supposed to be crazy nuts good. So a lot of people say this sounds amazing. It doesn't have the HDMI, so it doesn't have the modern amenities that people are looking for as far as like a preamp, like a signal processor would go, right? Digital controller would go. Um, You've also got four 32-bit analog. Um, oh, I'm sorry. That's something else. Uh, that's some of the DSP engines that are within it, the processing power that's in, uh, within it. Um, so uh, let's see here. You've also got that. Uh, you can also apply that to your zones as well. Um, you got digital audio gets four optical and four coaxial inputs plus a coaxial output you can use for zone two. There are eight highly flexible analog input pairs. You can configure these for 5.1 channel input or five stereo inputs, two 5.1 channel inputs, and two stereo inputs or simply eight stereo inputs. Uh, and then you've also got six S-video and composite inputs uh, and then a composite and S-video output. For the main zone and zone two, you've got uh, two 12 volt triggers in the back and our input two rs 232 ports for software upgrade which by the way this has a software upgrade 1.0 you can go up to 2.0 i don't have a windows machine so i don't have the ability to upgrade this myself otherwise i would yeah that's that all in a mouthful so let's look at the front of this thing here here's our little lcd we got the window open so that's why there's a little bit of a glare three minute mark let's just go ahead and we're gonna play see if i can get this working here with my big head um, let's play something. Let's play a little Evan off. Wow. This has been playing for a while. Here we go. There it is. We're going to, this is on the, oh, we've got the mute on here. Let's, let's pull that mute off. See the volume here. We can change up the um, input. I hit the display button. <laughs> I'm using the remote to do this stuff. There's two channels. There's, that actually changes the actual um, input. So we just went from satellite to, uh, there it is. There's that. The remote doesn't offer a lot of functionality. I can't find a remote for this. So you're gonna have to hack this, some of this yourself. Aux uh, S video analog. So that's how that's configured, okay? We're just pushing buttons, that's what we do. The mutant works, I know that. And the power works. 
Let's go over to DVD one. That's actually where I've got, let's see if it's gonna send me a signal. Probably not. Right now we've got Fallout on here. Let's see if that comes up. We've already tested all the inputs and outputs on this thing, so I just wanted to show you that that's working there. Everything's working. Here's Fallout, because why not? The show is on right now. Here's the back of this unit. We're using the JBL URI, which is awesome. 170 watt amplifier. It's heavy as all get out. It's also in our store right now too as well. Offers um, TRS and XLR balanced inputs. There you go, there's your XLRs right here. Here's your rear, this is where I'm at right now. This is from the Xbox. This is output. I'm sorry. This is outputting to the TV. This is from the Xbox right here. Um, we also got optical, so I could have optical from the Xbox into one of these connections here, and just done the sound. Um, and then you've got the four opticals right here. You got your digitals right here. Here's your remote triggers. Here's all the different configurable stuff here that it's talking about. The eight configurable things, or you can do 5.1 or whatever. All your XLRs are on the bottom. Here's your zone over here. This one says side and rear. So options there. You've also got your main outputs here. All the white is your outputs. Okay. That's the that's what you're noticing there. There we go. We got it there. Let's see. We've got our controller. Let's see what's happening here. There we go, the game kind of like was paused. See how cool that is? It's like spatial audio. As you get closer to things. As you go away from things. Ah, uh, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff in the, the Fallout game, man. It's got some really cool, interesting stuff. Anyways, um... Yeah, that's that. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. I just wanted to show you guys that this actually works. We have tested all these inputs and outputs, uh, except for the S video. We haven't done the S video yet. Um, I gotta find a TV. I gotta find something that has S video on it. So, uh, but everything else has been tested. We've just unplugged, plugged, unplugged, plugged. So there's that. The surround sound. You, you can hear it working. So um, you can hear it as it fades out of the front and goes to the back. And yeah, that's that. Hope you guys like this. If you have any questions, hit me up um, in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. We'll have a link to the auction and then we'll probably eventually put this back up just for sale. And if you can find me a remote, that'd be great. Cause, uh, or if you have one of these and you want to sell me a remote, that'd be awesome too. I'd happily buy a remote. So I think a buyer is going to be um, happier with a remote. If you have one of these and you want to sell it to me, you can do <laughs> do that as well i'll buy it from you um just hit me up in the comments and uh yeah talk to you guys soon thanks for watching if you like ebay video product videos like what i'm doing here where i'm just going over what we're selling go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh if you like this video hit that too as well if you want to comment please leave me a comment thanks a lot bye